Hey, my fellow Sagittarius, I'm going to see what's coming towards y'all in love from November the 20th through November 22nd. Um, so, think about the person who you want to know how they feel towards you and their most likely energy and actions towards you from now throughout the week. We got the two cups at the bottom. Automatically feeling like somebody might be in love with you, but I'm going to see what these 10 cards say. See if I'm right. <laughs> so they're like fascinated intrigued by whatever emotions you stir up within them you got the moon and two of cups king of cups four of swords i feel like i should keep shuffling Somebody's watching. I'm not just saying that because the page of swords. It's also because it started off with the moon. And the four swords is there too, which makes me feel like it's not um like they do a lot more thinking about you than they do communicate. And I feel like they might communicate with you, but they think about you a lot more. Like, if they text you, they want to text you a lot more than they do. But anyway, this person could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, because we have the King of Pentacles. It could be a Leo, a Virgo, Cancer, or Pisces. It really could be any sign. I'm just saying the signs that showing up. So, in the recent past, I felt like you might have got bored with this connection, or felt like you just wanted more movement. Like, it was more like talking the walking pretty much like more build up of both people thinking about each other than actually doing things with each other um this person i feel now that they see that you don't really need them they're gonna come towards you with some sort of offer of commitment like to take you off the market to make sure that nobody else gets you like they don't want to lose you because they're seeing you as a nine of pentacles and they see you as like not facing them like i see this as them and this is you male or female it doesn't matter i see this as you so i feel like you're over here happy focused on nurturing and growing yourself in your life and your coins and your family doing your own shit and they're focused on you even this king of pentacles has like a i hope y'all can see but he has like a sad hold on let me turn on my light okay so the king of pentacles has like a um sad look on his face so he can have some regrets about the past or just wishing that he did certain things at certain times. Him or her, wishing that they did certain things at certain times that they didn't do. And not wanting to lose you. Because like, they're hoping to correct something from the past. They're having regrets about the past with you. Um, with strength being here, they're gonna try to hold on to you. Like they're gonna take some sort of action towards you to let you know they don't want you to go anywhere. They haven't been communicating. They're definitely gonna communicate. If they have been. I feel like they're gonna be more clear and straightforward about what it is that they want. Why is strength here? Yeah, the Well of Fortune. So that means like um things completely like the tables turning from this four swords they were in the recent past to like action taking real life practical movement towards you nine of cups it's going to be somebody wish fulfillment whether it's yours or theirs but i'm gonna get advice for sage from this deck seven of cups could be capricorn involved but the seven of cups let me clarify that the world um so 
I feel like Sagittarius needs to be clear about what it is that they want. <laughs> or it could be like who it is that you want, what you want with. Because this makes me feel like you have a lot of options. You may not know exactly what you want. But I feel like you're enjoying your life or enjoying being single. Because it's a card of contentment. And happiness, fulfillment. But I'm going to get one more. What is this? Sagittarius advice when it comes to this person this reading is about? Okay, so it wouldn't hurt anything, but you're still being advised. Got strength at the bottom. Could be a Leo. She got strength twice. Or Capricorn, because got the devil, and the world is this is Saturn. Um, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, so it could be any sign, really, but I'm just saying. <laughs> With repetitive or whatever. But anyway, I'm saying. It wouldn't hurt anything. I feel like it would be exciting. It would be fun. Um, different every time with this person. But they're still advising you to figure out exactly what it is that you want. So you don't confuse yourself or confuse somebody else in this situation. So, one more advice card for Sage. happiness <laughs> okay so infertility at the bottom so some of y'all might be fertile but with happy, happiness being here um it's telling you to follow your heart be joyful grateful every day um and with happiness being here i feel like this person doesn't have any like um bad intentions towards you who this reading is about but hopefully it reaches whoever it was for thanks for watching peace